All right, welcome back to another video. This is a little bit of a restoration video, something I've never done before. This project here involves a lot of rust. So instead of just doing a basic refinish, there was a lot of prep work that needed to be done in order to neutralize the metal, in order to paint over it. But just a little backstory, this is a family friend's um, fire truck that they had since they were, I believe, in their childhood and kind of forgotten about it, got set out in the sun and the rain, got all rusty and they sent it to me to go get it cleaned up. So what I did is I just washed it up here and I used some 120 and 220 grit to just scuff up the area before I apply the paint stripper. The paint stripper did do a very good amount of work for me, saved a lot of sanding time and it peeled off everything instantly. So then I used a little bit of the wire brush to, or the wire, wire wheel to remove any rust and contaminants. And I use some rust preventive all over it just to make sure nothing spreads. I'm just using some aerosol cans, Rust-Oleum. I sprayed it all with etch primer first on bare metal. And then I moved on to the white primer right here, as you can see. Covered up my wheels for now. And here I'm just going to be doing a basic little spray job. Nothing too crazy. Keeping my distance. And as you can see, I'm just kind of doing 75% overlap. I'm trying not to go too heavy to prevent any runs or any mistakes. So here I'm just kind of keeping a six inch distance. Using a color is very different than using clear coat. I'll be using a 2K clear coat, which is a two part can that you mix up and it hardens in about a day, which is very, very good. As you can see here, I'm not really too worried about getting full coverage just yet since it's just a first coat. I don't want to run, cause runs or make any mistakes here. So I should have started my way inside out, but I wasn't really thinking since I never done a project with all these types of nooks and crannies. But after that, as you can tell, I just did about two coats on there. Each coat I waited about five to six minutes or so. I didn't wait too long just because I'm outside. I don't want any bugs getting on it. And then after this, I moved on to the 2K Clear Glamour. I'll leave a link in the description to all these items. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It does spray. A lot of overspray but you got to make sure that you have a good distance set and your spray pattern is consistent you don't want to and you don't want to get any zebra stripes or any missed spots so as you can tell i'm just kind of going at a medium pace it's kind of hard to tell where your spray pattern is because it missed so much but as you can tell i'm just going over it not worried about getting full wet coverage just yet it's just kind of like a tack coat make sure i get the front as well as you can see I mean, in an outside environment, please wear a respirator when you do this stuff and the gloves. You really don't want to get the stuff on your skin or inside your lungs. So here's about, I think I did four coats. I just did a whole can until I ran out, which was about four coats. And I put this back inside with a dehumidifier next to it in the area just to make sure that it dries very, very well. You don't want to leave this outside because it'll. you don't want it to range from cold temperatures to hot temperatures. You want to keep it nice and consistent. And then also here for the headlights and the bumper, I scuffed them up with the gray scotch bright pad. And then I sprayed on about two coats lightly of this metallic spray paint. And after that, I pretty much did all my other little small parts, which I didn't get on video. But right here, as you can tell, it came out really, really nice. The wheels look a little different just because of how bad the rust was. So I just kind of did it white, white rust preventive and sprayed them with white. But here's a before and after of it. In my opinion, I think it came out really nice. The red really pops. But this is my restoration project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and share with anybody out there. Thank you.